All right, here we are, uh, Freedom Boats uh, in Victoria, the new shop. Uh, you're gonna see some of it uh, in some uh, video I'm gonna do here in a second. But uh, Chet Morampudi, a very svelte Chet Morampudi. Uh, he's, he's been working hard, he's been walking, all that stuff. All right, so I started to ask you off camera, I said, I know our listeners wanna know this. Yeah. Um, so my Freedom Warrior, the new one is in there, the, the Bite Me edition. Yes. When did you start that? So, so we brought the mold last evening. And we got to do like, like seven to eight different uh, yeah. you know, waxing. Mm -hmm. So, so we put wax on, and then we wax off with all the, all the wax comes off, and we got to make like six coats. Mm -hmm. Then we do like a tape test. We put a tape, make sure it's not sticky. Once we're done with the tape test, we're ready to spray the gel coat. So and that's the color. That's the color, seafoam color. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do building a bow, we spray the gel coat. Yeah. Once we spray the gel coat. Then we start putting fiberglass. Mm -hmm. Then we put our stringers in, the foam in, and then we pop your boat. Yeah. And then we put the deck up, and then we put the cap on, and and get it out. To so this one is not popped out yet. No, no. This yeah. is the mold. This is the mold. This is the mold. So, so what you see in a boat is the first thing we do. Yeah. So when you see a boat, it's a gel coat. So the first thing we do is a gel coat. Mm -hmm. Put the gel coat, and then we do like a skin coat with fiberglass. Okay. So we leave it with the skin coat. Come back a few hours to see air pockets. Okay. So skin coat is like a barrier between your gel coat and your actual fiberglass inside of it. And you don't want any air pockets. You don't want any air pockets. Yeah. So so once we spray the gel coat, this is the fiberglass. This is the fiberglass strands. So it goes through the gun, and and this is the chopper system. Mm -hmm. It chops the gun and sprays it like like this. Oh, okay. So I mean, these are the strands of fiberglass. That's what's going to go in the bottom of the boat. Yes. This is the. This is the fiberglass from the strand. Okay. So, so once we do it, we get with the flashlight. We, if there's air pocket, it reflects. Oh, okay. Then we get a Bremel tool, do and, it up. Yeah. And then put it, everything. Once the skin coat is all cured, so so these makes like a mechanical bond. Mm -hmm. So we got to sand off the layer. Then we can put heavy layers of fiberglass. Okay. Heaviness of glass, then we put the stringers, which okay. gives the strength to the boat. Right. Once we put the stringers, we fill the base with flotation. Okay. So this is what gives your boat flotation. And can keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. Once we do all that, we're gonna put a deck and we're gonna pop it with these two. With these two things right here. Yes. And you pop it out of the mold. Out of the mold. So the molds are basically, you know, all, shelves. Yeah, just one at a time. One at a time. And and so what's the timeline here? So from like where my boat is. So right today we're gonna to spray your boat Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and by the time we leave, we're gonna have a skin coat like this, like this, like this. Mm -hmm. When we come back on Monday, we're gonna start putting heavy material. By end of Monday, we're gonna put the stringers and foam. Tuesday morning, we pop, it. Mm -hmm. and then once we pop over there, that's where we're gonna start putting the decks and everything like that. Like that one's a deck. Yeah. So we can see the whole process right here with very yes. yes. So this is the deck. Once we glass the whole deck, but your boat got a cap. Yeah. So this ain't gonna have this, you're gonna have just the floor. Right. Floor and bulkheads. Then we put your cap, clamp it down, cure it. Yeah. And that's gonna be Wednesday or Thursday? By Thursday, by Thursday, your boat gonna have a cap. Okay. By Friday, it will be in the rickshaw. When you come next Saturday, it'll we'll be rigging. We'll be rigging. Yeah. So in one week, your boat is done. What? In one week. Well, how come it takes so long for other people? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have this boat sooner than I thought. Yeah. Well, how about that? Okay. Here's the most important question. What yes. am I? What am I doing today? Today, <laughs> today, John's gonna spray the bite me edition warrior all by himself. <laughs> We're not standing behind the warranty, so it's all John. Uh, I, got, I got no warranty <laughs> on my boat. Yes. So John is a craftsman for the day. <laughs> so I'll be spraying the gel coat or what? Spraying the gel coat. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's do it! Let's suit him up. <laughs> All it is good. <laughs> Let's put your feet in first. With my shoes? Yeah. With your shoes. Yeah, it doesn't Pull it up. I feel like I'm going to outer space. And he, he and Captain Dean are going to come rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get the video of me falling. <laughs> well, maybe not. All right. Okay. And this goes on? Yes, that goes on. 
I'm good. Gonna bend the nose clip so yeah, I will. Post-game interview time, uh, for me personally, I just tried to play my game, stay within myself, uh, you know, do the, do, the, do the job as best to my ability. So how bad was it? Just bad. It was, <laughs> it was bad. He was, he was just spraying like a spray gun. It's it actually got to go three right. layers. So, so we've already established there's not going to be a warranty on this boat. But zero. <laughs> zero warranty. But can it be fixed? Yeah. All right. It can be fixed. We're all happy. What are you doing? <laughs> are you throwing? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I might keep my autograph. Yeah, you should. Oh, I'm going to sell it at you the... You should. Sell it at the... Yeah, at the auction. Yeah. yeah, save that. All right, I'm going to save it. Yeah. All right, so the, I was talking to Dean about this, mm -hmm. like the science and the engineering involved and, you know, some of the things that you can do. You wouldn't think that this is much right here, but you were telling me before, Chet, yes. that's that's the difference maker. So that is a difference maker. So Why? So we call it as a sea chime because it's like a concave chime mm -hmm. so what it is most of the boats they don't grab water in the turn mm -hmm. they all depend upon the tunnel to grab it yeah. but with the extra curve on it it can turn on a dime Just and like that way pump. you don't get the burping like you the don't old. Burp, yes yeah because some of the old uh, yeah. uh cats when you turn it would be a wider yes. turn and yes. when you did turn so you hear the air pockets this hit. one you can you can turn it yeah you don't have to slow down. You can turn it on wide open throttle. Just a little bit of piece yeah. of engineering right there. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that something? So we learned the design when we built the 26. Is that right? So, so 26, you know, it's a bigger boat. If you don't grab it, it just slides. Right. So, so yeah, it doesn't, slide it doesn't slide either. It doesn't slide either. It just grabs the, it grabs water. the water. All right. And what you were talking about, you were showing us on the Patriot, mm -hmm. like the thickness and, and why these boats are light. Take us through this back end right here, like you were telling us. So, so the transom, we use an inch and a half kusa. Mm -hmm. So kusa is a composite material. Mm -hmm. So it has very light and strong. Mm -hmm. So, so transom back in the day is all made of a wood. Yeah. It's called capsulated wood, it's heavy. But this composite board is like one third of the weight of a wood. Man. And it's like 10 times stronger than a wood. One third weight, 10 times strong. Strong. And then you And you measure like certain areas have more than others. Yes. So. So this is the transom, and these are the gusset plates. Yeah. So what these do, they they bond with the transom, and this goes glass to the stringer. Right. So the forces are transfer from the motor to the transom to the gusset plate to the overall length of the boat. Right. So that's why it's much stronger. And so down in here is where you have the thicker. Where you have thicker. All right. And also the other cool thing about that is, you know, when you cut the water, mm -hmm. it shoots out. So it doesn't splash. It doesn't splash. So as you're cutting, it's going going out. So so the water will travel the surface and shoots down yeah. rather than going up. Yeah, and that's why it's dry. That's why it's dry. Floor for the water. That's the floor made with a three-quarter inch uh, honeycomb. Okay. And we put heavy glass on both sides. <clears throat> and when you see those black square plates, yeah. So this is reinforcement in case like like what I did on my last warrior. I, I added a, I added a case top, a T top. Oh, yeah. That's what this is for. That's the floor. So when you bolt it to the floor, this is what you can use it. Well, that's a nice one. So so these two are your cable chasers. Yeah. That floor is all your rigging going from the center console to the back of the engine. Yeah. And this is the trolling motor coming from there under the console. Okay. So take us through why the warrior and and why what what Dean. By the way, shout out to Dean. He's on the camera, yeah. Captain D. And I are, are so impressed with this that it can, the science of why it can run so thin and get up so quick. Why is that? So, so all these designs, what we call is called a layer. Mm -hmm. So we went to a company called Vectorply who they supply it. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they input all the parameters, mm -hmm. the length, the wave height, uh, the forces you're going to get, and they will give you exactly what you're going to need. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, you put like 10 layers and nothing will happen. Yeah. But now they're going to tell me exactly two layers of this, one layer of this. When they, when they combine the engineering, it's light. Yeah. So every board that we have designed here got all the calculations and bending moments for every design. So the main reason why it is all our the sponsors yeah. underneath, 
you yeah, saw the yeah, foam field, yeah. everything is foam. That foam gives you extra buoyancy. Yeah. That makes it lighter on the water. And that just gets you up. Gets you now up. what's that over there? So console is also built exactly like the boat. Mm -hmm. The first thing you see is a gel coat, then a skin coat, then heavy material. But we reinforce the sides, like if you're going to have a K-tar that yeah. goes from the console, so we put some reinforcements on the side so that we can screw it. Yeah. So what you see is the live well, and those are your dash panels. That is where you put your controls and everything. That is the top of the console at the bottom. Right. So that all right, it's all done. And here's the best part of the whole job right there in front, or back. <laughs> So what do you think? What, hap what happens here now? So, so we're gonna open the doors. So the styrene will cure the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And what time is it? It's 8:50. By 9:30, it's gonna be cured. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it out and put the skin coat on it, fiberglass. All right. So uh, the Bite Me Edition Warrior is officially uh, in production, uh, as they say. But for our listeners, you know, the Bite Me Edition—that's quite an honor for the podcast. Of course, Chet is a, a great a great friend of the podcast what exactly for anybody who's listening out there that says i want to i want to bite me edition boat what does a bite me edition 23 foot warrior have so you know, starting from the back of the boat you're going to have a 250 horsepower with an whole shot prop then an eight foot uh, power pull and then going to the front we're going to have we're going to have bucket seats we're going to have a simrad gps we're going to have wet sound speakers with amplifier we're going to have a five inch suzuki digital gauge where you can see your hours, your RPM, your speed, miles and everything. And then, <clears throat> and you're gonna have a KTA for yeah. share, yeah. additional rod holders on the console, and a 36 volt trolling motor in the front with a onboard charger. And a light bar on the- Light bar. On the hull, I on mean, the, on the front of the on bow. On the front of the bow, yes. Um, and uh, steering? Steering is gonna be a C-Star hydraulic steering. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's uh, the Bite Me Edition. Uh, and what's it gonna look like? Is it gonna be the same uh, side with maybe uh, any any lettering or anything? Yes, uh, we're gonna have a special decal. They're gonna say "Bite Me Edition" on the side of the Freedom. Yeah. So 